Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn fun ways to teach double-digit multiplication without regrouping. But first, let's talk about what is regrouping when you're multiplying. Well, let's take the numbers 11 times 14. Now, these are two double-digit numbers. When you multiply them, you're always going to multiply the ones place first. So 1 times 4 is 4. Then you're going to take this 10 and multiply it by the 1. So 1 times 4, again, is 4. Now we want to deal with the tens digit. And what we have to do is we have to start one space over at the tens place. So 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 44 and 110, and we're going to add them together. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 1 just brings down here. So we have 154. Now, why was this uh, a multiplication problem without regrouping? Because 1 times 4 is less than 10. So regrouping is for uh, greater than 10. So any two numbers that you multiply, if they're greater than 10, you have to carry them. So the numbers that you can multiply without regrouping are 1 times any 1 through, or rather 0 through 9. So 1 times 9 is just 9. You can do 2 times uh, 1 through, well, let's see, one time, 2 times 5 is 10, so you'd have to regroup. So basically 2 times 1 through 4, 3 times 1 through 3, and 4 times 1 through 2, because 4 times 3 is 12. And then because we have the 1 over here, 1 through 5. You can do 6 times 1 and 7 times 1 and all that. Uh, so basically, you can have your kids remember 1 times 0 through 9, 2 times 1 through 4, 3 times 1 through 3, 4 times 1 through 2. It's kind of like a countdown, except there's no rocket ship. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned some fun ways to teach double-digit multiplication without regrouping for kids. Thanks a lot.